Hi and welcome back to my workshop. I'm Tony and I am going to try and build another tank. So this time it's the M26 Persian tank from Armatech. It's another full metal kit, one to six scale tank. Um, I'm super excited about getting started on this and any moment now I'm going to start unboxing this uh, in real time with you guys. But just ahead of that, I just want to give uh, somebody a shout out. Um, my two boys have started a company and they've actually helped me by purchasing this tank or helping me with the purchase of this tank. Um, and I'm, in, in return, I just want to give them a bit of a shout out. So their company is called Next Wind Collectibles and there's going to be a pop up on the screen here and in the description below. And they're the only UK based, I think they're the only UK uh, online raffle that offers a unique um, opportunity to, to win some incredible pop culture, uh, vintage and modern collectible toys so they are raffling things from the whole sort of the whole Star Wars Marvel um, modern toys vintage toys they've got some inc incredible uh, graded vintage comics and other graded toys that they're going to be putting up in raffles soon um, so you know I wish them every success and if you get a chance um, perhaps you could pop onto this website um, check them out you know and uh, if you feel lucky sort of you know have a small punt and you never know you might win something incredible so without any further delay I'm going to reset the camera and we're going to start unboxing this in amazing model by Armatech. Hi right we're just about ready so um, the delivery comes in three boxes this particular tank uh, delivery comes in three boxes and Armatech have spread them out in weight wise so that they're roughly 25 kilos per box the larger of the box is box one, and I understand that's where the instructions and the certificate of authenticity and, and um, those essential bits are as well. So I'm, um, I'm going to carefully open this. Obviously, it goes without saying, always be careful when you're using a sharp standing knife. And I'm lifting the lid, as you can see, I don't want to damage anything underneath it. So I'm so excited about doing this, unbelievable. Right, so here we go. This is um, this is really exciting. I feel like it's like Christmas morning. It's mad. I'm 55 years of age, and it's I'm so excited. I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually, because this is I'm going to put all this in the recycling. I'm going to take that lid off there to make life a little bit easier, and so I can see. Um, I'm folding this um, and now I'm going to start unpacking it um, right so I'm going to be very careful because again I don't know what's in here um, there's a huge amount of these packing peanuts um, and you always have to be very careful about uh, leaving things behind so I'm going to go for the very first thing in here now they always label these up now, i'm not probably not going to unpack everything that i take out of the box so this is called um a mid-deck support uh i mean i guess that's part of the mid-deck support right um so i probably will open that up let's just have a let's have a look at that but i also don't want to you know lose the labeling of it no that i think if i was going to do this to everything we'd be here for hours and no none of you want to be doing that so okay so i think that's just a little similar to what i had with the tiger so it's just really the sort of the the metal ring i think which is the possibly to do with the turret but i'm going to fold that back up put that to one side um just have a little bit of a feel around here and we've got another piece again this is labeled up mid deck a mid deck b and turret bearing so this is obviously to do with the the turret again i won't i'll only open them i'm only going to unwrap the things that i think you really like to see because some of this is just a bit mundane and you'll be seeing this in the uh, in the build videos only but i can already see through the packaging that there's a i can see the ball bearing ring here which is um yeah, you know, yeah, similar to the the uh, the tiger that I built. So I'm going to pop that over to that side as well, and then just carefully. And this is quite heavy, whatever this is. And this is called the sprocket mount. Okay, so this will be. I think that's worth opening.
Wow, I mean that is just beautifully engineered. I can't think you see that. It's just beautifully engineered. It's got some weight to it. Okay, and I'm really not sure. I mean, it says it's the sprocket mount. Um, so I guess that's what it is, but you know, quite how it fixes to the tank and forms part of the whole build, I don't know. There's obviously two of these left and right, but there's some weight in this. You can just feel the quality. I just love Armatech. Um, that's only the second model I've ever built. And when you handle these components, you just, you feel the quality in your hand. You realize why these kits are so sought after and well thought and respected, and obviously why they are as expensive as they are. But um, so I'm gonna pop that back into, into there. I don't wanna lose any of the labeling. So I'll just pop those over there out of the way for now. And there's some, feels like some really big pieces gonna come out of here. That's really heavy. Okay, so this is forward hull side. So this is obviously part of the hull. Again, I'm not going to unpack this. Um, you know, it's a piece of, it's a heavy piece of armoured or scaled down armoured plate. Um, and again, everything uh, will be unpacked as part of the build. Um, but for now, um, because I'm still very much a novice, um, I want to make sure I leave all the labels on and I don't want to take the packaging off because if I take the packaging off, I could end up losing my way forward. So I'll go over there for now. Um, there is some, there's something I will definitely unpack when I find it and that's the turret whenever I can get my hands on that because I just think that was the thing that really signed me up to, to buying none of these. Uh, this is the mantlet. So this is obviously where the gun goes on. You can, I, don't, I know it's hard to see in the shape and everything else and I probably will unpack that because it's going to be pretty obvious what it is. Um, again, let's just have a look at the... Oh, wow, that's amazing. The casting on that is just incredible. So you get that really lovely texture. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's picking up. But the texturing in that is just incredible. Just incredible. And again, it's a really beautifully engineered and weighty piece. Just incredible. Absolutely love everything that Armatech do. Um, so I'm going to pop that back in its protective wrapping for now and we'll carry on digging around to see what else we can find so it's a big ah there we go this is so right so this is the packing list i don't know if you can see that and then the all important certificate and um i've actually got the Pershing number 27 so that's my tank um, and in the back here is obviously the instructions and some brass cuttings and all the little brass hinges and various other little fixings that um, obviously in there for a reason so we don't get them lost but uh, so that's it that's my Persian tank um, certificate um, and that will go eventually on the wall along with my Tiger one and then a list of packing so this is what you get to confirm and check off against the box. Now, I'm pretty confident that Armatech have done their homework, right? So I'm not going to bore you by sitting here and ticking these things off. I'll probably double check once I've stopped filming, but um, I, I won't do that for now. But, you know, it just, I just love the way they pack these things. And, um, and if you want to double check, it's there. It's a full list of components, which will be in this box, I guess. Yeah, box one. So box one at the top, full list of um, components in there. And I'm going to pop that there. Um, and we carry on and again there's some really delicate pieces here it just says rear deck so I'm not going to unwrap all of these things so it's it's hard to tell but it's a very lightweight this is a very lightweight piece so that forms part of the rear deck at the top of the tank hull there's a really super heavy thing here what is this so this is um, oh the mud guards so left right hand side and bins and what have you again I'm not I really don't want to start unpacking everything just open that up a little bit. So this is a, this is obviously a, a steel piece, and it just starts giving you a suggestion of the length of this tank already. Um, as I said, I'm not going to unpack everything, so please don't criticise me. It's just that I don't want to lose track of where I am 
on on these components because I'm when I'm ready to build, I'm going to pull all the components for the first stage of the build as I've done before, ready for the build. Uh, so we've got what is this? This is a upper hull side. So again, it's just some small components. There's two pieces in there, um, and again, no idea until I start unpacking it and going through the instructions. But um, I can feel there's some really big pieces here. Now, is this what I think it is? Is this could be? It? Could this? This is a heavy piece. This. This is a heavy old piece. Oh, what is this? Front armor casting. Right. So this is the front section of the tank. So this is a full cast of the front section of the tank. Oh, it feels really heavy. This is super. Well, that's what it's weighs, but it's 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 heavy. I think the old postman always uh, looks at these boxes <laughs> with fear. Wow. I don't know if you can see that, of the casting comes out on that, but it is absolutely stunning. The texture they've added on to this is just incredible. Beautifully, beautifully machined. Absolutely love Armatech. This just, you know, and the fact that they're a UK-based company is just uh, blows my mind. So that is a hugely important piece. Big section of the tank, the front tank. You can just see this. Obviously, that's obviously the machine gun area there. Um, and how all this goes together, no idea. But um, I will be putting that to one side. That is uh, massive. I'll probably leave that off of that now. See, I'm going to pop that down there because that is huge. I think it'd be pretty obvious when I start building this that that piece is what I need. So I won't be unwrapping the smaller bits and bobs. Oh, this feels like a hole. What's that? Oh, round. Okay, so that's the gun. That's the barrel. That's the barrel. The gun barrel. Again, there's no point me on unwrapping on that because it's just, just a, at the moment, it's just a piece of aluminium tube. So that'll just go over there for the time being. And again, I've just been very careful because I don't know what's in here until I have a feel around. And so this must be the deck, the floor. This big old piece here. Again, I'm not going to unwrap this. It's just a, a, a you know a piece of aluminium which forms the the deck floor. It's all there, um, and again, just gives you some indication of the size of the the tank that we're looking at here. So I'll pop that up there for now. And it's sort of what else we've got here. So we've got a rear hull side. So these are just more of the components to the to building up the hull. So we'll just get these out of the way. Being very, very careful not to overlook anything. I'm pretty sure Armatec have got this covered. They wouldn't put small packs in on their own, but just be just to be on the safe side. There's definitely something else in here. What is this? It's fairly hefty. So this is uh, a T-piece. So obviously, again, part of the, the whole whole thing. So you can just about see the, the T in there. Again, beautifully casted. Lovely texture on that. Um, I just can't wait to start building this tank. And let's just see if there's anything else in this particular box. So many. Now I understand that these are biodegradable, um, so all, all, all very well for the environment, which is all good. So, and actually, I don't, I know they are because the last tank I had, um, I, I actually, I left a, a bag of these um, outside, or a box of these outside, um, and it rained that afternoon. And when I got back in the morning, it was just like a bit of a white sludge. It was weird, and then eventually it just broke down. So, brilliant. It's not plastic, so very good for the environment. And I think this empties the first box but I will just keep double checking because I don't want to I'd hate myself if I threw anything out it shouldn't be and that, that's it right okay so that is it I'll pop that in there 
Pop that. Put on that. That on that. And that is the first box. I'll just pop that out of the way. Move these pieces over there. I mean, this just goes back to what I've said all along. You do need the space to, to you know, to you know, start a build of, of this nature. Um, I mean, I don't know how you do this in your kitchen table. Uh, so you do need the space. So, like I said before, bear in mind that you know you need a really good workbench. You need space, um, and uh, the rest of it is just uh, patience and um, and timing. So. This is box two, so I will just bring that out. This is heavy old box. Um, no idea what's in this. Still haven't found the turret, which is the thing I'm really excited about. I mean, looking at the the way they've casted the other components, um, I'm I, I'm just absolutely convinced that the way they've done the turret is you know is something I've never seen before. Right, so what we've got in here, box number two. Let's have a look. Right. So we have another packing list. Um, and right, so let's just have a quick look at that. Torsion bar, suspension arm, sprocket centre, drive case, mirror rod guard, bin, 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 mud guard brace, grounds, hole hatch. So a couple of parts, bogey mounts suspension arms right so there's no mention of the turret so they obviously leave that for the last box so as the uh the grand prize so to speak so um this here is a thing called the I don't know, it's just like let's get these smaller pieces out first they're just mud guards so i'm not going to unwrap these because there's multiple components in here but uh, they're labeled up front and rear mud guards uh, two of each side Uh, the rear, oh, okay, so the bin storage. So again, I'm not going to unwrap these um, just because there's multiple components in there. Um, so there's six of them. I don't want to lose anything at this stage. Um, so I won't unwrap these, but you will see these obviously when I when I come to build that section of the tank. Um, and then we've got various different parts, which this looks like something to do with the, the muzzle. Um, yeah, so that's the muzzle. So that's the muzzle for the huge gun on this tank I understand and correct me if I'm wrong please I understand the uh, the Americans uh, developed the barrel for this tank from an anti-aircraft gun um, I think it was a 90 mil gun um, to try and obviously beat the uh, the tiger but so that's what that is um, not sure we can see that through the bag I'm not going to unwrap that but, uh, so that's it goes over there and now we're beginning to see the clear plastic bags to allow us to so these are some of the multitude of rollers and wheels that are going to be required to drive the tracks um, and I, can, I should imagine this is going to be hours and hours and hours of uh, fun and build time but uh, yeah so just a whole bag of there's 20 of those in there I guess 10 either side and got, um, this looks like a drive case yeah so this is the drive case outer there's two of those and then you can see that again just beautifully engineered i'll leave those in their plastic bags we've got some various different wow look at that beautiful just beautiful so these are labeled up as uh, idler pivot arms i mean look at that just the just the engineering in something like that is incredible absolutely incredible um, again i'm not going to unpack all of this there's just no point um because we will be here for hours and uh, various different uh, mudguard parts and bits of metal. Which, uh, I have no idea what they are yet, but we'll we'll get through it. Oh, I can feel that looks like the track there. To so um, some skirting. But again, I'm not going to unpack this um, because I'll get myself on the right old two and eight. Um, won't know where I am. So I'd like to leave these wrapped up with the labels on. So when I stack them away underneath my bench, um, when it comes to the time, I'll know where they are. Okay, so this looks like, this almost looks like the barrel bush, yeah. So I don't remember when I did my tiger. <coughs> uh, 
Um, they, uh, they sent a, a similar, much shorter bush though than this. Um, and I replaced it with a brass one. I think I'm going to struggle to replace that one. That's a, that's a big old bush, that. Um, and uh, this is a... Oh, the track supports. That's obviously for the spare tracks. So that'll just pop over there out of the way for now. And it looks like I've got a huge amount of track components. One of the tow cables. There must be more of those. Um, okay, roller housing. So these are obviously all part of the mechanics of the track system and wheels um i don't know um i'm not an engineer um and i've never built a persian m26 tank before so i will find out in the fullness of time going through the instructions what they are tow cable there um oh wow so this is the coupler hatch here again nicely made there and oh that's the that's the coupler ring itself Beautiful. I don't know if you can see that through the plastic. Absolutely beautiful. I think I saw that being made on one of the Armatech um, video manufacturing videos. Um, just beautiful. Uh, just you know, I know they're in the plastic, but just handling them and the weight of them, hard to see on the video, but just just reassurance of the quality that you're buying. And we have got ah, uh, oh, these are the sprocket rings. So yes. Um, you can just see the amount of holes in this there's going to be a ton of fixings um, I'm, going to, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time looking at the instructions um, I, I'm getting a little bit scared by unpacking all this but I mean I've been here before similar kind of journey um, drive case another part of the drive case again just just beautifully engineered now all of these things all these components will need to be degreased and cleaned before um, I work with them and um, and prime them and paint them and all that but even just by working on them I found working on the Tiger that if I degreased them and cleaned them, they were so easy to work with and I didn't get any residue on my hands. Um, although I do use barrier cream, as you've seen. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. <coughs> so at the moment, just one tow cable. And something here. What is this? It could be torsion bars. Yeah, so the torsion bars. So there's a bit of weight in those. Um, and again, I mean, the, the torsion bar system that when I was building the Tiger scared the, you know, the, everything out of me. Um, I won't repeat that, but it, it scared me. Um, but actually, by just slowly studying the instructions um, and working your way through it methodically, it actually worked out uh, very straightforward in the end. It's just, I think sometimes the thought of it is worse than the actual practice. And again, it's just... I'm actually looking forward to doing, I might regret that, but I'm looking forward to doing this suspension system on this tank. Because it's a learning curve, you know, you learn every day. Um, right, okay, so these are the familiar, familiar looking components. They're the suspension arms, a lot larger than the ones for the Tiger. Um, they're going to need to be cleaned up a bit, I guess. Uh, you can just see all the sort of the manufacturing residue on these. But again, just looking at them and how beautifully they're made and turned and... Yeah, I'm, I'm incredible. So that's part of the torsion bar system. And we've got a up here. Okay, bogey mount B. I mean, look at that. Just look at, I mean, just look at that. It's just beautiful the way it's made. Just incredibly machined. Um, and fair play to Armatech. Just, I just, I love handling these parts. I just love handling them. They're, they're just so, you know, so beautiful to touch and handle. Anyway, so I'll, I'll be here all day otherwise. What have we got here? Up oh, some more suspension arms. Just another bag. Oh, they're obviously the, the shock shock absorbers. Oh, wow, shock absorbers. That's going to be fantastic. Oh, well, that's going to be interesting to build. I'm really getting excited about this. Um, I might, you yeah. uh, know, Right, and these obviously are... I'm guessing these are, are these the sprockets? Let's have a look. Yes, they're the sprocket centers. Wow, just beautiful, just beautiful and heavy. And just again, when you start feeling these components and you you get a real sense of the scale of this tank. Um, and I understand it, it's, you know, it's, I think it was the first heavy tank that the uh, was, came into uh, service from the US. So. You know, I've, I've actually, I, I've seen a tiger in museums and Bobbington 
Um, I've even seen the replica down at Duxford, and I've also been to Normandy and seen the tiger that was abandoned there. I, I, I can't I can't remember seeing a Persian tank up close. Um, so I'm really, really excited about building this. I just hope I do the model justice. Um, so that just looks like a huge... All right, what's this? So hull hatch. Looks like left and right-handed hull hatches. I'll put that there for now. Uh, rear plate for the hull. Another heavy piece. I'm not going to unwrap that. I've still only got one tow cable. There's a huge bag of tracks here, which I'll take them out now. So, there we go. 172 links. Big old bag of track links. And again, just, just incredible. Just love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and actually, again, when I did the Tiger, I, I thought I was going to dread doing the links, but actually it was quite you know methodical exercise bit of music on in the background you know spent a few hours out here every night putting these together wonderful wonderful really wonderful i pop that on there I'm rapidly running out of room to put all this stuff and still just one tow cable nothing in there nothing in here just this box of calls it an inner box now I know there's a couple of guys out there ahead of me already. Uh, shout out to Brian and Ray. Um, by the time you see this video, mate, you're probably you're probably well into it. But, uh, and I wonder if you felt the same way as I feel right now, right this minute, unpacking this. Just super, super excited. And then you've got so this is. Uh, Periscopes, bearings, bearings, but uh, do you know what? I, I don't think I can get all this out. I, I want to leave this in this box because these are all very. I'm going to pull out a few things and just loads of small components. Um, and I would be mad, yeah, they look like the taper lock bushes yet. Um, I'd be mad to start pulling all these out for the sake of filming. Uh, let me just go through. Ah, oh, right, okay. So, the one thing I will that's one of the steel wheels with the with the um. The track on it or the tire so let me have let's open one of these let's open one of these because this wow i know a couple of the guys that i'm talking to on um, on my youtube are saying they've had some problems with some of the steel rims um but and but this seems to be perfect i mean early days yet but you know that's um that's lovely it's got the rubber already attached to it um yeah, just, I don't, again, I don't know what I've got. I don't know what I've got to do to this yet until I start looking at the instructions. But it just looks it looks fine to me. It looks absolutely perfect. So I guess whatever problem they had on the, I think it was one of the Panthers. Um, hopefully they've resolved that for, for the Persian. But so that's that. Um, I guess there's enough in there to do all. So I will not unpack this box completely because it's just um, too many components. And there's the other there's the other rubbers for the other wheels. Maybe that's the problem on the smaller wheels. I don't know yet. But um, anyway, and uh, lots of stuff here. More reels. So uh, I, I'm, I'm really reluctant to unpack that box because lots of small components. So I'm going to just take that out and leave it to one side because um, I'm buzzing because the next box, I think, is what I've been looking forward to seeing. I'm going to pop that down there on the floor for now. Just go through this. Make sure... Nothing in there. Close that up. Pop this out of the way. Keep that packing list to one side. Pop that back in that small box. Yes, everything belongs in there. And we're going to go on to the last box. Which I guess, because I haven't seen any fixings, unless it's in that smaller box, I guess in here will be all the fixings that are going to be required. The thousands upon thousands, hundreds and hundreds of fixings that these tanks uh, require. Um, hopefully also, uh, what I did at the end of my bridge video, I... I did a, a tool video, so just a short video on the tools that I needed when I built my Tiger. And I hope that 
uh, I don't need to buy any more tools uh, to build this. I hope the tools I used on the Tiger will be just as good as doing that. So if you haven't seen that yet, and you're about to embark on one of these builds or considering putting it one of these builds, check it out. It's a very short video. It just goes through. I had a lot of people request that I did something like that just so that they understood the tools that are required to build one of these tanks. So I've done a very short video on that, and hopefully that's of interest as well. Um, this, <laughs> right, it's a much smaller packing list. And where are we? Where is the turret? It's in here. I can't wait to see this. I'm really sorry. I'm, it's, it's, I know it's a bit pathetic, but I'm so, so excited about this. <laughs> so a huge piece of protective foam. Let's pull that out. Oh my God. This is what I've been absolutely... No, do you know what? Let's get these other bits out first. Let's get some space. Uh, maybe I can't. <laughs> well, this is this. I think that's a spare wheel. Is that the spare wheel? Yeah, side well, side bin holder. I'm um, not getting too excited about that uh, at this stage. And what is this? That's some other. Again, I'm not excited about that. I will be probably later on, but I can just see this now. It's just incredible. Um, oh, let's get this. Uh, there's some other stuff in here. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, what have we got here? All right, okay, well, yeah, I've seen these. Be now, these I did see uh, being made. The bogey mounts. I saw these being made on Armatech website, uh, the machining process and these, and it's it's just, just again, blew me away. Blew me away, because I just love the CNC processing. Um, and when, I, when I'm now holding these, and I've seen these being made, um, it's... Yeah, it, it's well, incredible and a little bit concerning because uh, you know I don't I really want to do this I really want to do this model justice. So what we got here? This looks like yeah, this is the sort of the gun mount. Again, all kind of familiar if you like uh, to the Tiger, but completely different design sort of thing. But the principles are the same, I guess. Big heavy piece of of aluminium there, and what we got in here? A bag full of fixings and pins and all sorts of interesting components I mean there's a whole packing list just on this here so uh, like the but like the tiger I should imagine I'm gonna spend hours and hours and hours of just fun going through the fixings and trying to pick out what I need for the next part of the build but you know what yeah, it's all part of it um, and I'm really looking forward to it um, and uh, more stuff what have we got here so we have got this looks like part of the torsion bar system yes it is all part of the torsion bar system again i mean look i if i if i'd have unpacked this um you know before i had my tiger i'd be looking at it going no idea what that is but just by looking at it quickly although it's a different slightly different design to the tiger i'm familiar with this kind of thing so you know the amount of what i've learnt just by building the tiger is incredible um and i hope i continue to develop and learn more um and this looks like uh what is this road wheel axles right okay so it's all part of the road wheels road wheels uh the, a ton of those um that's going to keep me busy and more and more oh, okay here we go these are the twenty thousand fixings that are going to be required for the build of this tank um again just you know just all packed all labeled individually all the bags the armatech they spend a lot of time packing these away um and then we spend a lot of time trying to find them, um, uh, going for the instructions. But uh, it's a huge bag, really heavy bag, and just a multitude, thousands probably, of fixings. But again, um, it's what I expected, so no surprises at all. And what we've got here, um, ah, these are the gears. This must be the drive gear, yeah, the drive gears. Again, um, wrapped up, I'm not going to unpack these just yet, but wrapped up um, in paper, protected, um, and these are heavy steel uh, drive gears, again similar to the Tiger. So as soon as, I fa as soon as you handle these, you just know that they are what they are and the quality is there. And uh, it, it continues, it's like a lucky dip. Ah, familiar track pins. There's a lot of those, 172 of course, to match the, the tracks themselves. And we have more part of the torsion bar system, suspension system. And what have we got here? Another bag of small components. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, this is the sort of thing that we, uh, 
we, we builders um, love uh, because we spend uh, an inordinate amount of time tracing through these bags. But in fairness, they are labelled up. I wouldn't want to be doing this job at Armatech. Imagine that job, packing all these things into individual bags, making sure the right amount is in the right bag. Phenomenal job. So whoever does that at Armatech, thank you. Um, wow. Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, there's some other bits in here, but I can't get to them. But this is the bit. I'm, I'm like a giddy, giddy as a, a little kid. Let's see. This is heavy, heavy, heavy. Wow. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. Let's get rid of all that out of there. Wow. Oh. Is it? Oh, my. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. Can you see that? Let me show you. Here's what we can. Beautifully cast. Um, you can see some, some sort of, I guess, after re repairs of just some other works that they've probably had to do. But, you know, I think it all adds to the character of it. Again, I watched this being machined um, on the Armatech videos, and I was just spent ages watching it and just having it now and feeling it. And just the texture that's on here, the cast texture is stunning. I mean, obviously, I know <clears throat> um, a lot of people spend a lot of time trying to get this finish on, on, these, on these things. And I guess that Armatech have sort of done a huge amount of work for it. So this is heavy. I don't know what it weighs, but it's got to be, well, it's got to be 18 kilos, if 15 kilos, if not more. Um, pound is probably 15 pounds, I don't know. But I mean, the box is 24, 25 kilos and take all this out. I mean, okay, maybe this is 10 kilos, but it's a heavy old lump, you know, it's a big old thing. You're not going to carry, you wouldn't want to carry that round on your back. But I'll see if I can just, so that's obviously where the gun uh, mount goes. These are the, the turrets, or the sort of coupler and hatch. This is the, where the turret will connect. Um, it does warn you about sharp edges, so that's a good idea because I'm so, in, I'm just over moon, you know, over the moon by this. Just looking at it and just looking at the way it's shaped and i mean the, the the thing with the tiger i'm sorry to keep talking about the tiger but the thing with the tiger turret it had to be built and there was some i had a bit of a challenge with that because you have to clamp it and everything else as you've probably seen in my video but this is it look at this just incredible i mean there's obviously work to do to this um not quite sure i guess the only thing that's coming to my head right now is at least with my tiger i've got a plate that comes off the top of the turret and i can get access to take the turret off and get access to the full uh, full array of the electronics. Um, I'm sure there's a way of doing that with this. Um, we'll work it out. Um, could be that, um, you know, it's quite easy to lift this off. So I guess that's probably something to consider, but that's something for much further down the line. But um, yeah, so super pleased with that. And hopefully that will come out quite well in the camera, just so you can appreciate it. If not on this camera, the one that, um, the, 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 the eye in the sky, so to speak. So that is incredible. What a beautiful, and this is sharp. I must have to be careful with that. Might take all the sharp. That's just a piece of stunning beauty. So the last things in this box. So I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep this box. I'm going to keep the turret in this box because I don't want to risk dropping this. Um, so the last thing we've got here are what are these now? Okay, so drive case, inner drive, okay, so it's drop the inner, inner covers for the drive case. So that's that. And these look like hubs. Yeah, so they're the road wheel hubs. So again, sort of familiar, but different to the Tiger. Um, and again, everything's gonna have to be cleaned and prepped and, and all the rest of it. So there's nothing left in this box apart from my turret and um, some packing peanuts so i will leave this in i'll tidy this up and put, pack it away i'm going to leave this in this boxes i don't want this to get damaged in any way whatsoever so that um is it now i know i haven't unwrapped everything but i don't want to because i've got to try and build this and i have to try and find all these components so um what i'm going to do just i, mean, I won't show you this in the camera but my plan now is um to uh carefully pack all these underneath underneath my workbench um, stow this away for the time being um, start looking at the instructions um, possibly need a, a large glass of wine to to get me through that um, and then set up the first stage of the build once i've got my uh, my head around the first stage of the build now again 
a couple of the guys that I'm talking to on the channel have already started um, building and prepping and, and we all are probably, I guess we all start in different places. So I'm going to have a look and get my head around the best way to start with this. And then uh, once I've got my head around that, I will obviously start filming the whole build process. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing um, uh, video. Uh, and I really hope you continue the journey with me to start this build because I'm super excited. I've got lots of plans uh, for this tank when it's finished and my tiger. And I hope you follow me through the whole process. So again, I'm Tony. I'm going to try and build another tank. And thank you so much for your continued support and your comments and all your thumbs up. And if you're just new to my channel, please subscribe and please thumbs up because it means a great deal to me. And I hope I uh, continue to entertain and um, if you like, uh, encourage people and um, you know, invoke people into doing something similar. So thanks again, and I'll see you as soon as I can.